I saw like something moving in my backyard. First I thought it was a squirrel. Later I found out it was a bunny. She had some little scratches on her. I was actually able to find a nest, so I just put her back. But the mother never come back. She looks very frail. So I did a lot of research and then I found out that baby kitten milk is really good for the baby rabbit. I fed her four times a day. The whole time I had trouble sleeping because I was just afraid that she wouldn't make it. Within a few months, I started to get some confidence. As she slowly starts to grow, her ears pop out. It was really cute. She was also moving around a bit more. and She would like run around the furniture and stuff. She would like run up to me like a dog and just eat out of my hand. It was just very rewarding watching her grow up day by day. From the start, I knew that I wanted to let her go. So when she was old enough, I would open my door and that led to my backyard. She was kind of reluctant at first. Very slowly, she would go outside, but then she would come back. When I had the door closed, she put her little paws on the door. <laughs> She's so cute. But I knew that I couldn't keep her. So day by day, I kept letting her stay outside for a bit. And eventually she just liked staying there and it was very hard to get her back in the patio. And that's when I knew that she just wanted to have a life outside permanently. And that released her. It was so sad for me, I cried. Because I took care of her since she was a newborn. I bonded with her so much during that time. Around the summer months, sometimes she would come back and hang out. But she would just stay around the perimeter. She has her instincts to be a wild rabbit. I'm just very grateful for having the chance to save this little animal's life.